guys, it's Becca from Weatherwood Stains and from Gardner Spurger's blog. And I wanted to talk to you um, about this pedestal table that we've been making over. So Zach and I have already, um, we've applied stripper and we've sanded it. And then I applied a coat of um, our Weatherwood Stain Reclamation product um, because the table's a hard maple. And so um, we wanted this beautiful driftwood gray. So you can see, let me turn you a little bit. Sorry, I'm flying solo today, so I'm doing it all. Um, you can see right here the driftwood gray color that the reclamation turned our hard maple table. And um, you can see this very exciting new top coat that we're gonna be releasing and it's a European hard wax is what we're what we're releasing which is um, a really awesome top coat it's more protection than your typical furniture wax um, but I'm going to show you how to use it and once you see how easy it is you're really gonna love it okay so you see I have gloves on because it's acrylic um, I've already worked on this section and I'm gonna work right here in another section I've got a clean cotton rag. You want to have a couple handy. You want to make sure that um, you've got some clean ones that you can trade out. Okay, so I'm going to work in this section. You could see about how wet my rag was. And what I'm doing is I'm just working the wax into all the grain. Sorry about the shaky table. Um, I'll try to hold it. But what I'm doing is I am making sure that I don't have any overlap lines from where I just did um, in this section. I'm getting my rag pretty wet and then I'm making sure it gets into all the pores of the wood. So maple is not very, doesn't have like a very deep grain but that would be especially important with oak and there's a lot of oak furniture. So you wanna make sure it gets down into all the little crevices. Now there's a slight pigment to this finish and that's to help um, counterbalance. Um, typically a finish can darken the wood once it goes on. And so um, this little bit of white pigment is supposed to help. Uh, we've had this added in so that it'll help keep the original soft color of our wood. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make sure that I have no overlap where the old line, this old section is. The first section that I did. I want to make sure that it's really, really smooth. Um, no transitions. Okay. And I want to make sure that there's no streaks. So I apply it kind of heavy, get it down into the pores, and then make sure that it's spread out pretty well. And then three minutes later, you want to go over your other section with a rag. So this first section that I did right before I pressed record. I have a clean cloth and I'm just going to wipe any excess residue. So you can see there's very little um, that comes off. But if there was anything laying on top of the wood instead of in the wood surface, um, this would catch it. So you want to work in sections. Sorry, wobbly table. Um, you want to work in sections. After three minutes, you want to wipe off any excess. There's very little on there. Um, and then you want to let your table cure for about 48 hours. So 24 to 48 hours. Uh, don't touch it. And then after that, you're going to have a way better protection than normal furniture wax. And it's actually really easy to use. I think you're really going to like it and we'll give you a lot more tutorials to come.